to do a fillet. So this, if you look carefully, this is already scaled. All right, this is already scaled. What you also want to pay attention to here is the gills. See how well or not that they've cleaned the fish. So what I do is I take my knife and I go further opening this up. Okay. And then what I do, I bring this open. I thought this knife was sharper than that. It's not. All right. So this comes out. Pay attention. And literally, you can see the gills. I go in, I grab the gills. All right. It's messy. If you want to wear gloves and you're not used to this, then you could go ahead and wear gloves. But now I have the gills in my hand. Because, again, they give you the fish and you think it's all well and clean. But this... This contributes a lot of freshness to the fish, okay? A lot of freshness to the fish. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get off screen here and just rinse this a bit. Some warm water, clean that out. And I'm gonna bring my fish back to the board, okay? Now, if you wanna steak the fish, if you wanna steak the fish, you can just go ahead like this, like this, like this. If you're gonna deep fry it before you season, before you season the fish, you could score it like this so the seasoning can get in. I leave my tails on, some people remove them. All right, so how do I, how do I fillet the fish? I go right under here and I go up in this direction, all right? My knife is fairly sharp. Then I start here, okay? You go down to the bone, you go down to the bone, and you literally just run the knife all the way up, okay? You stay on the bone, you stay on the bone, all right? Not the optimal situation here, but you could see my beautiful filet here. And again, I wanna get this all the way down, all right? And when you come down, if you stay on the bone, you will be just fine. All right. Well, take a look at this. I have a beautiful bit of bone here. Flip that over. You really don't want that bone in there. So what you can do is just come off there. All right. So this piece stays off. All right. I have a beautiful fillet of snapper. I'm going to season that and I'm going to deep. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna air fry it. All right, that's for later. But there you go. And you do the same thing on the upper side, all right? You go right under this. This can come off because there's a bone in there, right? So you go down, and again, they did not remove all the scale, all right? And then you keep your fish head. Keep your fish head for soups and or fish stock. Make sure you go all the way down, cut this, all right? And then what I do is I go down to the bone. And remember, your knife has to be relatively sharp in order, to, to, in order for that to, to happen. If you stay on the bone, you will be just fine. If you stay on the bone, you will be just fine. I could have done some more preparatory work, but it's okay. And remember this part right here. I, get, I keep getting hung up on this part, right? And there you have it, two beautiful snapper fillets, all right? There they are. This is not waste. This is not waste. This is going to go for fish stock, all right? You could make a, a fish soup with that. But again, the key, what I wanted here for dinner is two fillets of snapper. Right? You could remove the bones. I'm from the Caribbean, so I don't care about that. You could take a pliers, or what you could do is finally just come off, come off like this, and get these bones off. But I leave bones in, but I think bone gives flavor. All right, we're used to bones. And that's it for the first part. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna season my um, filet. And again, this is not really rocket science in of itself. I have lemon. I'm gonna get it into the container. All right, 
just this side up so the flavors can go in. All right, the first thing I do, get my seeds out of my lemons. You could squeeze it on your hands like this. You see the seeds? Get some good lemon juice in here and let it just roll through your fingers. All right, when all the seeds are out, then you could just go ahead, get your lemon. Lemon is important, I think, for fish all together. So what else am I gonna use here? I have a scotch bonnet. All right, this is half of one I had already used. I don't waste, so I'm gonna dice that very thinly. This is hot, remember, the, the, the spiciness is in the seeds. So I'm leaving the seeds in, right? And you could chop this up a little more. I'm gonna get a bigger chopping knife here. If I can get one. Nope. Coming right back. All right, this is gonna to have to, to do for now. All right, so this is the spiciness. This is the spiciness. It's gonna go in there. And now you can't have fish. You cannot have fish without garlic, okay? That's, that's my, uh, that's the lesson of the day here. That's the lesson of the day, okay? Um, I'm getting my garlic ready here. Again, you know, preparation is key if you want to sit down and, and prep all the, the ingredients and you can do that too. I'm just showing you how I do it. Came from work, came from work, showed you how to fillet the fish. I got three cloves here. I crush, okay, crush. I could have pounded a little more. There we go. All right, and once you do that, this just sort of comes off, comes off the garlic, should, but it's been stubborn, especially now that it knows that I'm, that I'm filming. All right, and here we go. We'll get it out. It's coming. I promise you that. All right, so we have lime, scotch a bonnet, and we call that Pima Boda Man Jacques in French Creole in Dominica, where I'm from. All right. And I want to just chop this, chop, get my container out of the way, chop roughly, all right, this is a rough, rough chop, all right, on my fish, on my fish, make sure I have everything in view here, okay, and what I have now, I don't have a lot of, um, this time is a little wilted out, but can't go wrong with time, all right? The time is still good. I'm not gonna waste it. Just gonna, right, pull it. And since I'm not gonna cook it in the air fryer, what I do is I could literally just break up the woody part just for the seasoning and get that in there. That, that's fine. That's fine too, okay? All right, now, I have a little bit of ginger, a little bit of ginger, not a lot, just a little bit of raw ginger here. I'm gonna chop it, all right? It's a little fibrous, but again, just for flavoring, all right? There's my ginger, you can see it, all right? That goes in, my fish, all right? Now, I have green seasoning that we already have pre-made. This is, you know, things like cilantro, scallions, the whole nine that we already have. There you go, there's my green seasoning. Stir that and just, you know, put that on there, all right? There's onions in there. You don't have to, you don't have to chop all that other, other stuff down. Get that, get it back to the refrigerator. I do have, um, Parsley, I'm not a big fan of parsley, but if you want to chop some of that, go ahead and do just that. Okay? All that's, in, all that's already in the green seasoning. I'm just showing you. If you don't have green seasoning, it's very easy to just take the seasoning, put them in a binder and create, and create your own, right? I have, I'm gonna get some onions. That's the only thing. I like a lot of onions in my uh, 
I like a lot of onions and I like cilantro too, but I have cilantro in my green seasoning. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with that. All right, so here's my onion, okay? Nice and easy. All right, I want that to be incorporated. If you're going for just taste and things, you could go like that. I'm going for flavor, so I'm breaking that up into small pieces, all right? Small pieces, however you wanna do it. All right, there's the onion. Boom, all right, bam. And there you go. So this is my, you see I've not put any uh, of the dry seasonings yet, but I will show you what else I have, okay? I have, I have chili flakes, chili flakes, chili flakes going in. I'm gonna do some Himalayan salt, all right, you could, you could do uh, uh, Mrs. Dash. You could do Mrs. Dash. I am doing Himalayan salt, just a touch, okay? And again, we, 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 we don't promote a lot of salt because we talk about high blood pressure, all right? Now, what else, what else do I want to put in there? I, I'm going to put a, a touch of, um, I'm going to do a touch of uh, allspice and just a touch of curry, all right? I have allspice, grounded allspice. That gives you that Caribbean flavor, all right? Just a touch, all right? A touch of that, and I give it a touch of curry. That Caribbeanize it, all right? And then all I do, I take my spoon, and I, I leave that on top, all right, on the inner part, and I let that sit in there and just, you know, marinate on there. At least 30 minutes. Um, so again, you saw me prepare the filet. I will let that sit for about an hour and then I will air fry it and I will show you what I'm gonna serve it with. All right, over here, I have this pickled pepper. Spicy, that's for later.